A-I-T-A for not wanting my ex to add her new husband's name to my children's? My ex is getting married and has spoken to my children about changing their surnames to match her new surname. This conversation was had without my prior knowledge and in my experience coercive. Since our separation, we were not married, she has had several boyfriends most of which have been introduced to our children. Our original agreement on separation was that we would notify each other upon any major changes to our kids' lives, new partners, living arrangements, etc. This worked well for the first time she had a new partner, but has not been followed up since. In fact, she moved in her husband, not husband at the time obviously, without telling me. And the kids felt guilty that they had not mentioned it when I found out. I did not tell my kids off for this I just laughed it off and said that it was nice to not make they feel awkward. Brief introduction to the new husband, I know absolutely nothing about him. I've tried to engage him in conversation on many occasions he just stuck to one word answers and eager to get away from me as soon as possible. I didn't even know his surname until my ex approached me to add it to the kids surnames via a double barrel. I was speechless, didn't give an immediate answer. She continued to tell me the kids are all for it. Rather than have an argument, I said I would think about it. I have absolutely no intention of letting my kids change their surnames to add his. 1. I believe the kids have manipulated into thinking it's a great idea. I used to be manipulated during our relationship, and she still does to a point now, but I'm more aware now. 2. When slash if she splits up with her husband, she has a history, my kids will be stuck with a stupid surname. 3. Am not a fan of hyphenated surnames, double barrel, 3.1 also the names are not unique. Quick background about myself since my separation I've had joint custody of our children and have been in a relationship with my now wife nearly 7 years. My children have known her most of their lives, and they think the world of her. She has a good relationship with my ex, too. Despite having joint custody, I pay child support as my, and I'm suckered into paying more on occasion various ploys of which I won't get into here. Anyway, I feel like I've wasted your time. Just thought writing this down might help me rationalize the issue in my own mind.